Hey, Sean here from SpeedQBView.com. So I did FMC at uh, Flag City Fall last weekend, and I'm gonna go through my solution right now. A couple things, Ryan DeLine got a 25, I got a 28, so he came in first, and he also got to 21 moves with three corners left like I did, but he had a much better insertion and ended up with a 25, and he did something, a lot of other things different. He did a bunch of pseudo blocks, uh, two by two pseudo blocks, well as a two by two by three. And I'm not gonna walk through his solve just cause that's his solve. But yeah, very different way of getting to also three corners left. And also there's a new world record of 18 moves. And congratulations, that person did a very straightforward solve, did a bunch of just block building on the inverse, edge orientation after the first uh, two by two by one block, and then just got to three corners and 17 moves with a really good insertion that canceled seven. In about a week, I'm going to be at FMC America, which is November 4th. There's a bunch of locations in North and South America. So check to see if there's anything around you, because I'm sure you can still sign up. It's a lot of fun. I'm really happy about this 28, though, because I've been really working on FMC over the summer and had a lot of sub-30 solves. But at competitions, I've either had high 30s, DNFs, or a random 22. So this is really nice. Uh, let's sort of walk through what I did here. And I've been trying to start with edge orientation first. I looked at this a lot of nice things. We have um, these two pieces here, which if you just do straight CFOP, you just have an awesome cross that's set. And we have a couple pairs already made. And so yeah, so I like doing edge orientation first. It I find a little bit nicer blocks um, or just makes it easier later on. I did look at other blocks. What I like to do when I start is just sort of check to see what lines up if we have anything there. But for edge orientation, I did, let's see here. So, oh yeah, I held it this way. And for bad edges, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So with six, what I did was first an F prime, which put, solved these three back here and made this one bad. And then I did an L, which put that there, a D2, and this is D2 because this is the D face, and then B prime. And not only did that orient the edges, but it made a nice little two by two by one. Now I couldn't find a good two by two by two. Oh yeah, I couldn't find a good two by two by two just right away doing this way. So I went through the inverse. I'm just gonna put that right there and then invert this. And to invert it, if you are new to this, you just invert the solves that you already did. So holding it this way, I've got B, D2, L prime, F. Then I invert the scramble, F prime, U, R, U prime, F prime, U, D prime, F, B, U, L, F, D, prime, L prime, F2, L prime, U2, 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 And not only will you have the same EO done, you'll also have any blocks you have done. They might be a different color which is kind of nice because then you have other options. And I found a good two by two by two by doing R prime, D prime, which made that. So after that, I couldn't find a good continuation from there. So then I went forward again. So I did D R, D R, and then the regular scramble. And then the four move E O. And again, now you should have EO plus that block. And then I made this into a two by two by three. And this actually, okay, from here, I actually spent about a good half an hour trying to find other stuff. And I didn't do this F2 for a while because I'm like, well, I don't wanna put down the cross edge, but I should have because it was very simple. I just had to do F2 and then R, U, R prime to insert that. So I had a two by two by three. And then from here, I went through a lot of, because there's a lot of things that can be done. Uh, these pair up by just doing a U prime. There's, there's something else I think that, some other things that, that could pair up. But, so what I ended up doing was a U prime, L, U prime, L, U, L, which made F2L L minus one. And from here, then I was trying to figure out how can I get you know, as many things solved as I can. And actually, I was trying other things before I just went to F12 minus one. And the, what I saw, the way I kind of noticed this, because I had someone ask me, you know, how do you, how did you see to finish this up? And I didn't see a ton of stuff. You know, I knew this was paired, but I saw this blue and orange, and I saw that orange edge, and I wanted to put this here. So I did a U prime, 
L U two L prime, and that also paired up a bunch of other stuff with it. So I just had to do U, and then I had three corners, and then I stickered up those three corners. Found that if I inserted it right here during my two by two by three block, it would end up canceling one, and that canceling one was actually the most uh, efficient. What's the word I'm looking for? It was the optimal solution. So with what I had, canceling one was the most optimal, and there was no way I could have gotten a 25 with what I already had, so I could have backtracked. But yeah, this was, I had about 10 minutes left when I found this, and I was happy with it. Just checked it three or four times and wrote it down, and happy with the 28. So hopefully I get a sub, a couple more sub 30s. I'm hoping for a sub 30 average at FMC America, but I'm happy with any average because any average is better than what I have already. So thank you very much. Leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Hit like, subscribe for more content like this in the future, and as always, stop by speedkeepyview.com for more news and reviews.